It was one year ago when the European Parliament, by a narrow majority, approved the copyright reform, uh, including mandatory upload filters that are required by former Article 13, now Article 17 of this directive. And that means that the greatest protests ever for a free internet have simply been ignored by most members of this parliament. In this video, let me explain what has happened since then uh, regarding the copyright reform and what our chances are to stop the implementation of mandatory upload fitters. Now, several meetings of different stakeholders have taken place in the context of a stakeholder dialogue instituted by the European Commission. Unfortunately, they haven't really resulted in any improvements of the problem. In May of last year, Poland then submitted a complaint regarding the copyright reform to the European Court of Justice. The Polish government says it considers this directive a considerable threat to the freedom of speech on the internet and that it could result in preventive censorship. If the European Court of Justice accepts Poland's complaint, the paragraph 17 of the copyright directive, which makes upload filters mandatory, could be invalidated. However, there's a risk that EU member states could by that time already have implemented these uh, mandatory filters. On average, the European Court of Justice uh, takes about 16 to 20 months to um, deliver a decision. So we could have a ruling in this case um, by early next year, which would be a little before the deadline for implementing the directive expires. So what we need to do now is push our national governments to wait for this court ruling before transposing the directive. It is therefore important that public pressure is exerted on your national government. Depending on how this directive is implemented, it can cause more or less damage to the internet and public pressure can help limit the damage caused by this copyright reform as much as possible. Unfortunately, we're currently faced with yet another, the second EU project that could make upload filters compulsory. The terrorist content online regulation is to impose the use of upload filters in order to prevent the distribution of terrorist content online. The use of upload filters would cause the very same problems here as in the context of the copyright reform. It could result in a restriction of our freedom of speech online and of journalistic reporting on terrorism. It could result in the obstruction of innovation on the internet and the creation of a censorship infrastructure that can easily be abused. Upload filters simply are no artificial intelligence. They are man-made algorithms that can't tell if an image is posted by a terrorist group for propaganda purposes or by a news agency for legitimate journalistic reporting purposes. Also, a one-hour removal order is to be introduced in the context of this terror regulation, which would compel all platforms to delete content within one hour of receiving a removal order, even at night, even during weekends, no matter what size the hoster is. And this really threatens the existence of platforms operated especially by individuals or non-commercial organizations or startups. Find out more about the terrorist content online regulation and about what you should do about it on my website and in the video that is now linked in the info card. Our protests against internet censorship and for our right to free speech in the age of the digital revolution have not failed, nor have they been successful. They simply need to continue. We don't want to live in a world in which algorithms programmed by corporations decide what we can say and read online. So let us keep up this fight in 2020.